How many people do you think were killed by there during the last half hour? Ooh, that's a tough one. Let's see, the last half an hour, how many people? I would say at least five. Bears, a noble representative of the animal kingdom, a charming animal that uses its unbelievable strength as a weapon for survival. These creatures are mistaken by their innocent appearance for harmless animals, yet have no trouble defending their territory. Although adorable, these creatures can become nature's most vigorous weapon of destruction. Coming from a species that originated 4.2 million years ago, bears have many facts that make them diverse from regular forest creatures. For example, bears can run up to 40 miles per hour, fast enough to catch a running horse. Polar bears are the largest land predators on Earth. They can stand more than 11 feet high and weigh more than 1,700 pounds. Bears live as long as 30 years in the wild. Unlike many mammals, bears can see color and can see approximately as well as humans could. Bears are very smart and have been known to roll rocks into bear traps to set off the trap and eat the bait in safety. The scary part is that two-thirds of bears live in North America. The problem is bears are viewed as cute and harmless creatures. Any animation with an adorable bear cub in it immediately becomes better. Winnie the Pooh, Care Bears, Yogi Bear are all examples of the media creating a friendly personality for these animals. Don't get me wrong, bears aren't monsters, but just as any other wild animal, they don't like to be disturbed. Due to their incredible physical strength and speed, they will have no problem defending their territory. When people see bears, they shouldn't feel the need to cuddle them or take pictures with them. They should react with caution. How would you react during a bear attack? So if I personally was attacked by a bear, how would I react? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, uh, from what I've been told, bears are not very self-aware animals. So they are not indeed uh, aware of how large they are, I guess you could say. So especially when they're traveling on all fours, being only as tall as they are, what I would do if a bear came to attack me is get up on my hind legs and create this a large shadow as the sun casts over me and make myself as large as I possibly could, yelling and screaming and making you know bear noises so I will be perceived as a terrifying monster. Yeah. Great time. So if I was attacked by a bear, well, if you see a bear and it is angry, it's about to attack you, you can either play dead or stand very still. Um, what you should do is, if you're about to be attacked by bears, open up your jacket and yell really, really loud to scare the bear and make it seem like you're bigger than the bear. That's what they tell you to do in the Boy Scout camp. I would run away. Why would you do that? There's no chance of me beating the bear. Well, there's no chance of you outrunning the bear. There's no chance of me standing, trying to make myself taller so I can scare the bear. Because, so, I got attacked by a bear. I feel like it'll be alright because be all I, right. I feel that the bear, in the bear's perspective, I'm threatening his territory. And I don't know if that bear is a fathering bear or a mothering bear trying to protect his or her cubs. Exactly. So I can't, I can't say I wouldn't be you know, accepting that. Now if it was my friend getting attacked, I would do everything in my power to try and save my friend being mauled to death. And, and anything in your power, what would that include? Any wrestling I can do. How would you prepare yourself for a bear attack when entering a highly populated area of bears? Wow, well, and upstate I have a house, so when I was upstate, I got into an incident with a bear, and he was like 10, 15 feet away from me. And I put on my quad, and I put it into neutral, and I rubbed that, and I just walked away. Aha. Uh -huh. So what would you suggest for uh, tra for hikers and forest just enjoyers if they don't have a quad? Make as much noise and seem as big as possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would bring a sword. A sword? Yes. Interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? Well, I would feel bad for shooting a bear. Yeah. Right. So I think slicing it up a little bit. Less. Slice and dice. Yes. Okay. Make it nice. So now if I knew that I was about to enter a, a threshold where the bear population would increase, I think I would have to say I would uh, apply a 
equip myself with some supplies. So the, the first thing would absolutely be bear spray. Bear spray, of course. It's number one. It's like uh, pepper spray for humans, but for bears. It's uh, stronger. Uh, with a blast radius of up to 10 yards. It could really, you know, uh, deter the bears from attacking me. What do you believe is the most dangerous type of bear? The giant panda. Why would you say that? Because it's pretty big. Yeah. You know, bears aren't known for being extremely big. It's just a giant panda. Yes. Because it's big. It's a polar bear. bear. Who would you like to explain why? That bear's the bear. How do you think the media portrays bears? That's a, that's a very interesting question. I, I think overall the media, again, see my vote was to the polar bear, and just as an example, uh, Coca-Cola uses the polar bear during Christmas time as, as, a very, as a very friendly animal. And we all know that polar bears, in fact, do not drink Coca-Cola. Right, agreed. And, and then along with Yogi Bear mm -hmm. and Teddy Bears, they've portrayed this cute, lovable image of bears mm -hmm. that would Maybe cause... Your so right, many. Again, again, and the list goes on. Kung Fu Panda. Oh. Forget and pandas could be the most dangerous of all. Who knows? Exactly. I mean, uh, I, yeah. More so I, I think it's a it's a negative, too cute image. There's gummy bears, giant pandas. No, would you say, why would you say these all have in common? What, what's the main goal? They're what's, all bears. They're all bears. Yes. yes. What animated presence gives them a specific feature? Their fluffiness. Their fluffiness. So now, because of this, would you feel? Obliged to, if you see one in the public, to go up to it and hug it and embrace it. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. Some ways it could be peaceful, and some ways it could be aggressive. Can you think of a certain example? Like in National Geographic magazine, like I think it was like three or four months ago, they had a bear like. In Niagara, like, falls. Somewhere. Niagara Falls. I don't know if it's Niagara, Niagara Falls. It was Aqua like... bears in the waterfall. <laughs> to get their so, food. <laughs> mermaid bears. Are just... No, it's just fine. It's just fine. <laughs> it's just fine. <laughs> if you ever hear a bear or any risk of a possible bear attack, these are some tips you should keep in mind. If you see a bear 300 feet from you, you should not see them. Because if it does, it will try to be quiet. This way, you allow the bear to leave naturally on its own. Yet if you ever come into direct contact with the bear, the first thing to keep in mind is not run. There is no chance you will be able to outrun it, no matter what terrain. Most bear encounters are usually defense attacks, meaning they won't want to harm you and they're simply trying to defend their cups of food. The wisest thing to do is slowly back away, and speak in a very calm voice so the bear recognizes you're a human being, and make sure to make no direct eye contact. If any of these don't work, it would be wise to play dead. Try not to attack the bear unless absolutely necessary. Although it is uncommon for a grizzly bear to attack, it may happen. If so, use anything in your power to fight back, such as bear spray or even a gun if you have nothing else.